It's a familiar sight. A milky haze blanketing a city bad enough to trigger air quality alerts. This smoke in Sydney is from nearby prescribed burns set by firefighters to reduce the risk ahead of summer. Light winds and mild temperatures are ideal for prescribed burns, but it is precisely those conditions that causes the smoke to hang around, trapped under a phenomenon known as an inversion. So how does it work? Normally, air temperature decreases with height, but an inversion means the upper air temperature is warmer than the air on the ground. Because warm air is more buoyant than cool air, the layer effectively acts as a lid, trapping the smoky, polluted air underneath it. It's not until the heat of the day warms that air up at the surface that the two layers of air can begin to mix through and the inversion is broken. Cities are particularly susceptible to the impacts of this phenomenon because they produce more pollutants. Thousands of square miles were blanketed day after day. The Great Smog of London is probably the most infamous example. Polluted air, mostly made up of coal smoke, hung over the city for four days, killing up to 12,000 people. But inversions do occur regularly all around the world. It's just when there are fires nearby that there's more smoke around to notice it. There are two key conditions that lend themselves to a temperature inversion. And they're the same kind of conditions that create a foggy morning. They are a clear night and a still night, which also happens to be the recipe for a cold night. On clear nights, there are no clouds in the sky to trap the heat, and as a result, it's able to escape the Earth's atmosphere, and the air near the ground cools more rapidly than the air higher up. On a still night, there's less wind to mix the air up, allowing the cold air next to the ground to separate. In Australia, these conditions are most common in the cooler months of the year from April until September.